Hello, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. It's time for more European Universalis for Cossacks. I'm your lovely host, Kelvin, where we continue our random world game. Brunswick against Lubeck, Denmark, Holland. You know, let's find out something here. Right now, our trust is this, favor is that. Neither our trust nor our favors increased for answering a call to arms from them. Why is my only question. You would think answering a call to arms would actually help. The answer, however, is apparently no. Well, that's really a strange thing. You'd think answering a call to arms would do that, but no. Uh, well. New diplomacy system. Okay, so where were we? Right, we need to build some troops here. We need to build four troops. Yeah, I think I'm going to build three infantry, one cavalry. We have enough money for it, it's fine. We're still kind of recovering, and I don't know how hard we're going to participate in this war, but, uh... Because I'm not even sure how we're going to get them, let alone anything. Uh, maybe it happens after the war concludes, depending on how much you helped in the war. Possibly. Our contribution could matter. Mm -hmm. uh, so this is solely against Brunswick, then. Uh, I'm not sure how much we can help, to be honest. But, uh, I mean, hey, we'll give it the shot, right? <laughs> Religious connections. Ocel and Corona's opinion changed by plus 50. Hey, Poland, since we're, like, old allies and stuff. And so as I get, like, military access from you, at least. Thanks. There might be a way to increase trust or get favors or something. With, uh, with royal marriages, maybe. Maybe I just don't have access to that because I'm playing as a theocracy. That is a possibility. A gift to the state? Well, I'd rather just gain 10 prestige right now, actually. Which is a strange thing. Yeah. It's probably bugged. I hope it's bugged. Because, uh, or really, I just hope it's, you know, not the intended, uh, outcome. <laughs> that you get nothing for answering called arms. Good news, we can actually walk there. So, I suppose we'll go give our allies a little bit of help then, shall we? I mean, I'm just sort of working off the idea that contribution here will matter. So. I'm just sitting here bleeding. Rule challenged. <gasps> How do I see? You don't challenge the Archbishop. Anyway, suddenly we have 81% of uh, the war contribution. Why can we walk straight through the Brunswick Fort? It's a level 3 fort. I'm not sure what they did to the uh, system. But I think they screwed it up. Alright. We, we've now made up pretty much everything here. Take a meta bug. Move out here, seize everything, because apparently this fort isn't going to block us. Which is just fine by me, so why not? It's so much for zones of control, huh? Alright. I mean, actually, yeah, I'll just sit here. No reason to throw more, uh, more dudes on the fire. So yeah, suddenly we're going to have all the war participation here. 
Let's see if this helps. Let's see if this helps. Does anyone else get it for even participating in the siege? No. <laughs> only for leading the siege. So we're the only one who's pretty much done any participation other than Thuringia here. Yep. So, if we stay into the whole thing, I hope our trust goes up at this point. Oh no, we have slight unrest in some provinces as a result of our increasing war exhaustion. Cons for concern, sure. Truce with Poland is now ended. It's interesting that now breaking alliances grants truces. Disease outbreak. Keep rolling those ones. Stop. I really do want to go in here. So yeah. If our trust with Thuringia does not increase as a result of this war, I am going to be annoyed. <laughs> At the very least. Like. It decreases. We break promises or otherwise act dishonor. It could be increased by spending favors. There better be more than just spending favors. We better get like a fuckload of favors. Or something. It's like, hey. Uh, we did this for you. You, you. you better pay up, you know? Yeah, no, like, the zones of control aren't working properly or something, because I shouldn't have been able to walk right through this fort. I, at least I'm pretty certain that's not the intended ability for zones of control. Because I would kind of make them pointless. I mean, it's very possible that just broken is all hell, but, uh... Actually, that would make a lot of sense. <laughs> oh, dear. Unfortunately, that would make a lot of sense. I, I can't figure out the logic behind it, though, which is annoying. Alright, Siege of Brunswick. Well, it's over, boys. Let's go home. So, yeah. Thuringia, I want you to make a... Make a deal. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Thank you, Uh, we'll pay 100 ducats to Thuringia. Konigsberg will get 85 of this amount, resulting in inflation for me, which is annoying. Fender... Zergus expansion... Six prestige. Fine. Now it's 40 favors. Alright! You know what? That's okay. I'm alright with that. There. Thuringia feels that Konigsberg is highly trustworthy. Damn straight. And suddenly, we're at odds. As we see the same provinces being of vital interest. But our alliance is very strong now, I think. So 40 favors is alright. I mean, it could be better, could be worse. I'll take them. But, the important thing is I have enough favors left over. That, uh, going to war here... With truce with Hinterpalmer. Fair enough. Carry on. Enemy allies include Poland and Lubeck. The rest would not actually join in. Hmm. Question is as to whether or not I can take Poland. I mean, we know Poland has about 16,000 uh, men, so... Probably best to not go in alone. Like, we can, we can hopefully wait. No, I don't think we can actually wait for Thuringia. I think they're fucked. <laughs> oh, dear. I, I think they're screwed. Quite badly, I might add. 
Okay, we can actually start getting plus two uh, advisors now. We make enough money now. Hey guys, we're rich. Uh, better relations over time is always nice to have. Good. Good. Yeah, if they're getting noble rebels, I'm sure it'll be okay. Probably not, but we just try not to talk about them. Okay, so we're on our way up in prestige. Roland von Eschenlock. Hmm. I really wouldn't mind swapping this out to uh, that soon. Uh, we're at 133, so we're halfway to kingdom level. Why are you so rich, Gelfin? Um, good question. The answer is because trade. It's fairly simple, actually. If you'll notice, we now control 54% of the Baltic Sea Node. Just as a simple result of us acquiring, you know, these estuary provinces and me giving them to the Merchants Guild. It may seem like a bad idea to give certain, like, provinces away to estates, but river estuaries and uh, important signs of trade you should always give to merchant guilds, I think, at this point. Seems valuable as all hell. The amount of trade power they generate for you? Province trade power. Danzig, 39. Mamel, 26. And even this uh, I gave to the merchant's guild. So Riga, as well, I'm looking to take. Okay. Mm hmm Okay. Diplomatic feedback. So yeah, Königsberg is highly trustworthy. Damn straight we are. So, Ringia, if they survive, will be good. Good allies. Alright. Republic. Still all like our Republic. Trakai is no longer a valid rival for us. Weren't they dissolved a long time ago? Like, dead? Alright. Rivals. Romandy, really? <laughs> Seems a little silly. Poland no longer likes us, so we'll set them as a rival. And I mean, we have enough reason to go to war with them, so... Fine by me. Okay, good. That is acceptable. Yeah. I like how Paradox screwed over straight blockading. No idea. No idea what you mean by straight blockading in this case. On the other hand, I wonder if I need trade ships. Like, I don't actually have any trade ships, and I control 54% of the Baltic Sea node. Like, that's the thing. If I get a hold of Riga and give it to the to uh, my merchant estate, it's going to be a fucking field day. Oh, yeah, man. And I need to build, like, marketplaces in these areas. I forgot about them. If you put a merchant estate in there, you got to build a marketplace. That's, I think, important. Like, the amount of trade power you get from that is good. So, I'll make sure to do that. All right. On the plus side, uh, are we going to keep going along this idea tree that we've got here? Coronia is over. Oh, cell has ended, finally. Or are we going to get tech? They're at six, so... I think at this point I have to get tech. Um, it's important. I think. Because it is a military uh, tactics level. So, I think it's very important. Crossing a strait like Denmark to Sweden, you have to control one side of a strait to stop troops crossing. What do you mean by control? Oh, so you mean like, if say, so like, because Vaster Gotland owns both of these, assuming the rebels weren't occupying it, uh, Akershush could not, uh, could not block the Orsund unless they occupied, say, here, where the rebels are. I think that's what you're trying to say. And if that's what you're saying, that's interesting. That is interesting. 
Okay, so yeah, that is what you're saying. Interesting. Uh, I was not aware of this change. As to whether or not that's a good change, I'm not sure. Uh, to a degree, it makes sense. I feel like coastal stuff would probably prevent you from uh, doing too much damage. What I actually think should happen, instead of us, uh, instead of straight uh, straight blockading uh, that you, that you normally have now, you should just create attrition for crossing units equal to your blockade percentage. So, if you have fifty percent blockade in the region, they get fifty percent attrition. Now, generally, it shouldn't take more than like fifteen days to cross a strait. So, realistically, even if you have a hundred percent blockade. You, they probably shouldn't lose more than half their units. Uh, that, that's the realistics of it, I think. And I feel like that is a, an astoundingly decent idea. Um, rather than just a hard can't cross. I never like the idea of hard things, like hard limits that you cannot do. Because if there's one thing that I've learned from history, is people are fucking crazy enough to try the stupidest goddamn things. You know that? That's what I've learned from history. Is people are crazy enough to do the stupidest things. And I think that's a fine thing to leave on today's episode. So thank you everybody for watching. This has been your lovely host, Galvin, signing off.